want to avoid having subs or being redirected or you want to be having nice grades scoring good grades you want to have an easy life you want to be successful you want to achieve your goals you want to enjoy your life then you really need to learn or know how you are going to manage your time right so this video is going to be much about students even though managing time is not just for students it's for each and every person as long as you have time in your life you really need to learn and know how to how you're going to manage time right so this is evening lifestyle and this is Nakas Evelyn and let's get into this hi guys I'm so happy that I'm sharing a lot of stuff about college and university and I hope they are really helpful to you guys to you viewers and everyone please if they are helpful you can just put in the comment section and let me know so that I know if I am supposed to continue or not so every year normally I'm trying this because every year I think four to five months of each and every year there is that period where a lot of people get excited you know students like we had the previous year where our friends made it they are done and now they are in society they are thinking of going to college they're thinking of going to university and now they need some guidance they need to have a view on how it's supposed to be not just them but also those who are already in college or university and you know they're still learning and they're still uh, they still want to understand how everything should go because your life is based on how you're going to treat it and everything right so today is about time management time management i'm so so excited that i'm sharing this one because this is something that is really important your achievement your success you graduating you having um, a lot of things that you need and all that you you enjoying your life and everything just everything in general depend on how you're going to manage your time and this is a topic for today it's so exciting so time management is very crucial you know every second of your life really matters i guess this is why the phrase of um uh, life is short comes from life is really short because every second counts not just students but everyone either student or working in class or those who are not working or anything every second count you sitting watching television you pressing your phone you cooking you doing whatever traveling every second counts so time is short it being that in the morning you're doing something before you know it it's already afternoon before you know it, you know it it's already evening and the day is done the day is done you go to the following day the week will be done then you start revising on what you did during the week is you find that there's nothing that you did you didn't achieve anything days are moving weeks are moving months are moving years are moving right so time is very crucial and time is very important you really need to know how you are going to manage it if you want to succeed in life if you want to live a comfortable life if you want to achieve the goals that you want if you want to make everything work right all right let's get back to the student life right the college life the university life and with me here is my coffee <laughs> Now here is the thing, we have 24 hours in a day, right? So this is for our friends there who are in college, who are in university, or those who are yet to go there, you need to know about this. Time management, right? So we have 24 hours in a day, and the recommended hours, the health recommended hours for one to have um, a healthy sleep is about eight hours. But I know this is not really acceptable for students. I don't think this is possible for a student to have in, uh, to, to sleep about eight hours when you have a lot of things which are pending. But I'm just going to take this in a genuine way. So we say you rest for about eight hours in case maybe you're not feeling well and all that. So 24 hours, we remove eight hours from 24 hours. So if we remove eight hours, you are going to remain with about um, 14, 15, 16. Should be 16 hours. Um, Hopefully I'm correct. So 16 hours, you're going to remain with 16 hours. Then we say you have um, about three classes in a day. Three classes in a day. I'm trying to prove how manageable this is for you. How manageable it is. And I'm starting at the maximum uh, point why you have a lot of hours to sleep in a lot of hours and all those kind of things. So you, we are remaining this with um, 16 hours, right? And the, probably you might have three classes three classes in a day and per class is about two hours so two by three classes we're talking about six hours here so we are going to remove six hours from 16 hours we're going to remain with 10 hours so I'm making this so that you don't have to create any excuse that you don't have time to study and other things 
sorry for that one. Okay, so we are remaining with 10 hours, right? So for 10 hours, we say, okay, we remove about an hour, one hour to prepare yourself. I'm not going to say five minutes or 10 minutes. No, I don't want you to rush. So we remove one hour for preparation for each and every preparation, either morning, afternoon, either morning, afternoon or evening. We are going to put it an hour, right? So we remain with nine hours. Nine hours we remove an hour to cook. Definitely you're not going to be cooking beans or other things, things that are going to take long. So an hour, it will be enough for you to prepare food. That is the morning, breakfast, lunch, evening, we remove that one, right? We are remaining with um, eight hours. Eight hours remove maybe, let's say two hours, two hours for a nap, either in the afternoon, either time. But to remove two hours, we are going to remain with six hours. For six hours, we remove an hour which are going to be moving around from class to your room, from your, from your room to class and all that. The to and fro movement. We remain with about five hours. Five hours, we remove, we, um, remove an hour which is going to be for a nap. Not really for a nap, we remove that one, right? So an hour which is going to be maybe um, pleasure time just on your phone and all that, checking your PC, your friends and all that, we remove an hour. We are going to remain with four hours. So these, the things that I've removed are the priorities. Like these are the things that you cannot do um, away with. You can't stay the whole day without eating, without cooking, without having a bath, without going to class. Those are the definite things, right? So we are going to remain with four hours. Four hours, let's do this. We remove an hour again for assignments, right? Discussions and all that, we remove an hour, we remain with three hours. Meaning you have three hours to study in each and every day, which is very, very sufficient. No excuse. <laughs> All right, so I'm just putting this to be in a general way, right? So meaning you have three hours in a day. In three hours, uh, we say maybe for five, uh, five days. In five days, you're going to have about 15 hours. Meaning you're going to be studying 15 hours in a week. In a week, every week, and imagine a month. How many hours are you going to accumulate and how many things are you going to put in your mind, right? Okay, so this was just a general look. It was like... A map so that you don't give any excuses to say no time and all that that was just a genuine way now let's get into this so the first thing that you have to know when you are doing the time management you are man trying to manage your time is prioritizing put the first put the things that you that are your first priority right I mean you can't go uh, you can't go to have fun you can't go to the club you can't go window shopping when you know that you need to go to class when you know that you need to go and study when you know that you need to go and cook so that you each need to have energy and prepare yourself for class right so if you are going to be putting things um jumbo jumbo it's going to be a very confused trip and you won't really enjoy yourself because every time you'll be having sap every time you'll be failing in your in your courses and all that and it's so traumatizing and you're going to feel like you're suffering you're going to feel like the world is really really heavy and it's so hard to be in college when it's not it's not just it's just about time managing and all that right all right so the first thing is that you have to list the things that you want to do during the week so this is going to be a routine for you like each and every week you need to put the things that you want to do during that week you have to put maybe you say okay in this week i need to make sure that uh, for example you go to studies i need to make sure that i cover these topics in these courses how many courses definitely you have to study all the courses in that one week right so you have to make sure that studying is there on the list uh, studying is there eating definitely is there when it comes to maybe shopping groceries and all that you have to make sure you have to think if you're going to um okay let's say groceries also there right so you list it down grocery before we put them in categories so you list down the things that you want to do during the week groceries you want to go uh, uh maybe you want to definitely a nap should be there uh studying cooking classes um what else research going to group studies um what else hanging out watching some movies um checking out your phone your social media um hanging out with your friends so you put those lists i don't really know what you guys really love doing but these are the things i'm just putting i'm listing right after listing all the things that you want to do during that week you have to also 
uh, put now in category so you have to put them in the category that's the second thing put them in the category I'm sure you guys uh, you are seeing that on the screen so you have to categorize the things that you've listed the uh, most important ones or the first priority things you put them there in the box then the other one you have to put uh, if they are really really needful if you know needful meaning uh, the things that you can't live away with right so these are needed then you also put the things like okay these are not really really much needed but i can do them at my own free time then you also put the the other one which can just be maybe i can do this maybe some other time right then you list now the things that are in your first priority from your list getting from your list so if you're going to say studying is my first priority, you put studying, you put eating, uh, cooking, you put class there, you put bathing and all that. So everything will just be like somehow like you are a robot, like you're a computer, like everything is just uh, you're working under an alarm of time and all that. Like you can't do all with time. Everything is supposed to put in place and accordingly, right? So after prioritizing, after categorizing all the list, the list of the things that you had listed, after categorizing all the things that you had listed, you, you put them in the categories, then you are halfway finishing your time managed on how you're going to manage your time. You are halfway finishing that, right? So let's say we are making this plan on a weekend, maybe on a Sunday. If you want to start your week, in a very peaceful and organized way you need to make sure that you do your laundry either on saturday or sunday depending on which day you'll be off and which day you go to church if you go on sunday then you have to make sure that you do your laundry on saturday if you go on saturday you have to go you have to do your laundry on a sunday right and after doing your laundry trust me your week is going to be very comfortable peaceful and it will be smelling nice because each and every time you'll be going to class with you know clothes which are clean clothes which are very comfortable there are no inconveniences right then the second thing is that if you have a lot of dishes if you have a lot of dishes make sure you clean each and every dish you clean your room if you stay alone you clean your room that day is about it's just like cleaning everything because there will be days where you won't be having much time to clean your room and all that so you make sure everything is neat right so your laundry your dishes are clean right then the third one if you need if you are a lady if you need to do your hair and everything make sure you do your hair and all that so that everything is neat during the week if you don't want to do your hair make sure you put in place every, each and every instrument or each and every hair clip you're going to be using for your hair or your hairstyle you say okay on a monday i think i'm going to do this on this um tuesday my hair is going to be like this on this day on this so that you are not let everything is organized right the fourth one is that you make sure that your shoes as well are always clean as well they are clean during the week you are preparing for a week so this is going to be done on uh, a weekly basis so that each and every week is filled up with the new energy with the new vibe with the new you know you want to go to class with that new energy like everything is clean i know i've been there before where i'm going to class and i'm not really really comfortable because i did not do my hair in the way i wanted it to do it because of time i did not prepare my clothes in advance i did not prepare my books in advance my bag is dirty and all that because of not organizing everything so if you are not if you haven't organized yourself things become so awkward and things become so sour you can't enjoy your week right and you can't really concentrate in your class because of you're not comfortable so you prepare everything in place and you put them if you have a wardrobe well and good if you don't have hang ones are there you can just put your clothes you know you need about five clothes in a week going to class so you put them in place you just hang them there and everything is set right then that is about um You've prepared, you've done your, uh, your listing, you've categorized the things that you want to do and now you've also done your laundry, your washing, your hair and all that, right? Now we go in during the week now. So on Saturday, Sunday, you, like you're doing your preparations, then on a Monday, on a Monday, you've listed. So after categorizing, you also put them in a different part where you're going to schedule now all your categories all the things that you've listed you've categorized right and prioritized 
so if you've said that classes of course class time is inevitable because they've already said that eight hours maybe eight nine ten eleven twelve you will be in class all those four hours definitely they are inevitable you can't say no i won't go to class i'll schedule them for the other time so if you're going to say eight to twelve you're going to be in class then maybe you're going back to class around 14 so you have 12 13 14 at that two hours you need to plan something that is very very beneficial to you something that is not going to waste your time so don't panic don't panic that's the key number one key don't panic don't don't you're doing great <laughs> so those two hours you need to fill them with things that are beneficial if it means you having a nap remember we did the two hours having a nap uh, six hours class and eight hours uh, resting that's junior map right so you have plenty of time if you're going to prioritize yourself in those lists so two hours 12 to 14 hours you have two hours either resting or maybe you can uh, say okay these two hours i'm going to cook i'm just i'll cook in advance or anything but things that are going to be beneficial things that are not going to waste your time things that are going to help you in you know achieving your goal and have been comfortable if you say okay for these two hours let me chat with my friends one hour chatting with my friends one hour cooking well and good right so all right maybe you say 14 15 16 two hours your um 16 that is uh we are talking about uh three uh 3 p.m to uh, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. right at that time we're talking about that time your class finish your class ends for the day then you say okay if I say 18 I'm going to be sleeping around 23 then I have to sleep right so you have to be thinking what are you going to be doing from 18 to 23 what are you going to be doing at that period right if you say you are going to study remember we have three hours of studying so if you're going to be doing your studying your team every day in the evening well and good you have 18 so if you're going to say you have enough from 18 18 to 19 then 19 to 23 19 19 20 21 22 23 if you're going to be doing that well and good as long as you are able to manage so prioritizing your things is very important if you're going to say okay i'll be traveling or having a lot of fun with my friends on a weekend that's even the best thing to do because during the week Monday to Friday you're going to be busy with uh, classes studying and other things and if you're going to include a lot of fun then your time will be so you won't be able to manage time because time is very crucial and it's very important right so you have to know the things that are going to be beneficial everything that you do you have to think of how is it going to benefit you right Alright, so I'm putting this just in a general term like you just to understand because I don't really know what you guys put like these are the things I must do these are the must do but these are the things I'm just sharing with you guys which I see to be very important because if you are going to say that I'm just going to be studying and going to class and all that then you are going to close your mind from you are going to limit your mind from being creative your mind needs to see new things it needs to hear new things so that it becomes creative and it becomes more um more working and all that right creating more neurons right so if you are going to be that you know there is that phrase which says um all work and no play makes jack a dull boy if you're not going to have time to uh you know having that nap having time to talk to your friends having time to go out and all that you are going to make sure you are going to be somehow dull right which is not a good thing because you're going there to be creative and learn a lot of things you're not just going there to get a degree or a diploma and all that you need to come back with some skills when you are in secondary in high school you didn't really have much time on developing skills and all that because you were limited in exploring and all that but now you are there you are out there out of the box and all that you need to be creative you need to come back with the skill you need to come back with some things that are going to be pushing you in society as you uh, wait upon being employed it's not the must that you're going to be employed after school who knows but you can be so you have to make sure that you come back with other things apart from a degree and a diploma or, or a master's or a PhD. You need to come back with some creative things that are going to help you in life, right? So the summary of this is that you need to set your goals, your every week goals, your daily, uh, your daily goals as well. Every day what you want to achieve. When you wake up early in the morning, you'll be like, okay, so today what do I want to achieve? 
one i want to make sure that i'll be able to study i need to finish these topics and these courses two i need to make sure that i attend all the classes three i need to make sure that i attend all the discussions four i need to make sure that i do not get distracted right so you need to make sure that you set your goals uh, for the day the goals for the week as well and every week after the weekend you need to do uh, a resolution you need to go back to the week like okay did i really do did i really achieve what i wanted on a daily basis and during the week right then the second thing is that you have to make sure that you schedule each and everything that you're going to do even having a bath you need to schedule it you need to write it down that okay at this time at this particular time i need to go and have a bath i need to go and all that especially if you really have issues with being disciplined right if you're not really able to discipline yourself when it comes to time then writing down will really help but if you are really disciplined and you really know yourself no need of writing it down you know that okay this time i need to do this every time it will be clicking in your mind but if you have issues in discipline yourself writing down will be much better on the phone or you know hard copy is fine as well so that when you wake up you look at it then the third one is that do not make any excuses don't make excuses this is your life this these are the things it's you who wants to achieve your goals it's you want to be successful so don't make excuses if you're going to make excuses it's you who's going to suffer nobody else <laughs> it's you who's going to suffer so make sure you don't make excuses it's really important that you don't make excuses you make everything work out right yeah so the other one is that you have to make sure that you make use of your time, right? Use your free time so wisely. When you are free, do things that are beneficial to you, things that are going to help you. I've seen a lot of people and I learned a lot of things when I was in college where I used to see a lot of people where on their free time they used to attend some seminar. Not seminars about classes or education and all that, but entrepreneurship about art about other things those who really love music they were playing uh, all kind of instruments you know that's the other way of having fun you're having fun at the same time you're benefiting right because who knows you might be playing you might be the next one playing at a certain concert or a wedding or any ceremony because you benefited from that you used your time wisely so use your time wisely if you're going to do something do something that is going to benefit you either in the present life or in the future right then the other the other thing is that you have to make sure that you look for things that are going to motivate you so this is the only way you're going to manage your time your time every second of your life matter every second of your student life really matters if you want to enjoy your uh, life after college you need to make sure that you'll be able to manage your time during that um, the college life and the university life there are a lot of people who have graduated from university or college uh with some skills with some skills with some business partners with a lot of connections with a lot of things to do after college right and there are a lot of people who graduated from college uh or university and just stayed home they stayed home and they are just waiting for maybe employment which is not a good thing because if you're going to stay home you don't know when you are going to be employed and if you're going to stay home life will be so hard on you and you will feel like life is so harsh on you when it gave you a it gave you plenty of time to decide and to create a lot of things that are going to help you things that you're going to be doing after college so guys these are the things i thought of sharing with you on time management and everything so if this was really helpful you can just put them in the comment section if anything please put them in the comment section questions addition and anything and everything put them in the comment section thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode don't forget to subscribe subscribe and also ring the bell so that you'll be able to receive each and every video which is uploaded you're going to be receiving a notification right so see you